Okay, serial transmission is where um, bits of data are sent via an interface, uh, typically wires, but they're sent via an interface uh, one bit at a time. So over a single wire from the sender to the receiver, it's known as serial transmission if there's a single wire and all the bits are sent down the same wire one bit at a time. Now, very high data transfer rates can be achieved with this. So fiber optic, for example, is serial transmission using light. Um, so you can do it up to about 64 gigabits per second can be achieved at the minute. But I mean, that's that's as a stat will go out of date relatively quickly anyway. It's probably out of date by the time somebody's watching this video. But serial transmission is, you can't really think of it as being slow because um, fiber optic cables use it. Uh, parallel transmission, on the other hand, is where bits are sent down several wires at the same time. So this is a method that's commonly used inside the computer using things like buses, and it's good for very short distances of up to a few meters. So a timing signal, which is usually a separate wire, which I think I've, I've drawn on another slide, um, is usually used to keep the things in time. Uh, so commonly with a strobe timing signal or something like the, the clock signal, um, so essentially, you can send one bit at a time, allowing you to send, instead of sending one bit at a time like serial, with multiple wires, you can almost send these are known as words. You can send loads of ones and zeros all at the same time. Okay, so here, this is if it has a clock signal, which it commonly has, because, um, they're, like I said, it's used quite a lot inside the computer, so that where the computer shares a, a clock tick. So by including the clock signal, what you can do is on every pulse of the clock, you can read these wires, allowing you to send data at very high transfer rates. Um, so there are some issues, however, with parallel transmission, because obviously parallel does sound better than serial when you look at it in, in not much detail, but there are issues with parallel that don't necessarily um, also exist with serial. So some of the main issues that, seriously affect performance parallel transmission over over distance over a greater distance than a few meters is one is known as data skew so data skew is a phenomenon where data travels down wires at slightly different speeds so over short distance this issue is negligible because uh, the, the difference is so small but it becomes quite a big issue over a long distance um, and data skew is a phenomenon where uh, essentially the data won't end up because obviously you need to read these wires at the same time for it to work and because of data skew that doesn't really work very well and the data is skewed because what you send out over a long distance isn't necessarily what gets received and it's purely down to this slightly different speed in which the data is going to travel uh, the other one is crosstalk this is where changes in voltage level on one wire can affect another wire if it's in close proximity. Um, so the longer the wire and the more rapid the changes, then the greater effect. So it's basically that uh, it's known as crosstalk, but it's when uh, the electrical signals down one wire can interfere with the signals down the wire next to it, which again, over short distances, it can be laid out in a way that that's not, not too much of an issue. But over long distances, if this was used, um, this would become a big issue. Uh, and the final one's just cost. It, there's more wires for every transmission. So th there is an increased cost as well when compared to serial transmission. So um, serial is what we use generally over longer distances. Parallel is what we use over short distances. And finally, a little bit of a comparison. So serial, the advantage is it can be used over long distances and it's faster over long distances. Um, partly because we use things like uh, when, if you think of the internet, you might be within your computer using a lot of parallel communication, but when it leaves your computer and starts hitting the fiber optic lines, serial is very fast. Okay, obviously, if you add fiber optic lines in, in a parallel form, that would be fantastic, but it would cost a huge amount of money. And like I say, there's some issues with distance and parallel communication. And there's it's difficult when it's outside the computer because of the stuff we share in the clock signal, which we'll talk about in future videos. Um, so disadvantages, it can only transmit one bit at a time. So main issue with serial is just the, just the fact that you're limited by how much you can transmit. Um, parallel, you can transmit multiple bits at the same time. It's faster over a short distance. 
Um, disadvantage, it suffers from interference and noise between the wires over long distances. So that's what we run about with the data skew and the crosstalk, if you can try and remember those key terms. Uh, so remember, crosstalk is the interference, data skew is the, this phenomenon of data traveling at slightly different speeds, um, which becomes an issue over long distance. Um, and there's the high cost of cabling is another disadvantage. So where you would find it, most of the connections within the PC are, are typically parallel. Um, but then if you think of when it leaves the PC, lots of cabling like Ethernet, um, USB sticks, things like that, they're often serial. And then you go onto the internet and that's a lot of that is what well, all of it is serial. So, um, yeah, that's serial and parallel, two different types of data transmission you need to know.